Cerberus Gridiron Podcast. <laughs> And now your hosts, Christian and Chris, powered by By Cerberus Fantasy Sports. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to the Service Ground Podcast. I am your host, Christian underscore CFS. And do we got a show for you? You already know what this week is. It is free a gent c frenzy and you already know we're going to talk about the news and all the latest and greatest and see how these teams are trying to get their teams better for next year seeing which ones are going to come up from being the that comes up from uh what like being shitty obscurity (laughs) (laughs) to a great who gonna try to host that lombardi it starts here but it doesn't end here. This is just a couple pieces that you get to actually build up something great. And don't forget, everybody, let's do a round of applause. Welcome back our co-host, uh, Mr. K Camp. He is back. Hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for having me back. I apologize for last week, but we had a good fill-in from your favorite author. So I want to say a special shout out to him. Thank you for covering for me last week. Had some family issues going on but we are all good and healthy in the name of jesus shalom i came to my good people and shalom i came to my bad may you learn to become good what's up man it's good to be back man it's glad to have you back man glad to have you back (laughs) you're talking about people getting that guap i'm talking about they getting paid out the man we might we might just go straight into the the dag on we don't even have to go into the news because the, the, news, the news right the whole sh- exactly man let's go and talk about, like wh- who who you want to start off with like who's the uh, biggest one can we, can, can we talk Are about you, can we talk about my eagles can we can we just jump dive right into that okay you can just go on and fly eagles you know? fly we made a right, big man. uh thank you so much a big signing today we got Saquon I've been a fan of his since Penn State so I am happy. Got a, it was a pretty good deal. I think with three years, how many guaranteed? Three years, uh, thirty-seven point seven five million dollar contract. Uh, I don't That's know the guaranteed money, guaranteed. but uh, they don't say. Damn it, can't see the, the guarantee. Um, so I mean, even still, uh, he's what twenty-five or twenty-six? I think he is. Yep. I'll take that. You know, for him, three years, thirty-seven million. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you for coming along, Saquon. Shout out to you. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to start there. We re signed our guard, Landon Dickerson. He got paid. Mm-hmm. We'll take that. Um, you know, I already talking about the edge of linebackers because we talk about fantasy steel. So yeah, say nah, we appreciate that. But not nah, go and talk about your other parts of your, of your team as well because you know even <laughs> though this is fantasy you got to bring in the defense just a little bit because we do have some guys out there that actually play up in DS DST uh, defense yeah, special teams so you got to give you got to give your defense some love too man they didn't sign some good nice edge rushes and everything go on, go on, keep talking about it man I mean, so we got Brady Graham one year contract. Then we got Bryce Huff on a three year deal, fifty one million dollars. We need to get a corner or safety. That's what we need to get. Uh, and then we signed linebacker Julian Okarara. I don't know Okarara. Ok, I don't know. So we signed him to a uh, free agent contract. So, uh, but yeah, we need to get somebody on that back end. Maybe we address that in the draft. I think we're in the twenties. I can't remember where we pick up, but we're in the twenties. So mm-hmm. maybe get a good quarterback or a safety to fall to us. But yeah, so I'm yeah. I'm, I'm happy with my I'm happy with my today. These ones are safe going bark. Yeah, and let's go on and talk about that. Like a lot of people said that um they don't like this for like fantasy at all. <laughs> but like I beg to differ with that. Like I actually think this is a good landing spot for him. When you actually think about it, um, because you if you actually go back and look at the running backs that they had, I don't think they've had a bell cow like Saquon since um 
what's your guy's name uh back in the day whenever he was uh, with uh, uh, yeah. was it westbrook Yep, that's all I was gonna say. With well, with actually, Dr. Man. No, I think we had the Sean McCoy's probably before him because Sean McCoy he he leads the Eagles in rushing, so he got the record. Yeah, so it's probably the Sean McCoy probably three out back. Yeah, the most recent one we had. Yeah, so McCoy. like I think I I think that's actually really beneficial for y'all, especially getting a guy who you can actually count on. The only thing that actually knocks is that uh, can he stay healthy, which. If he can do that, then we already know how Saquon's actually going to be. Um, since this is fantasy, and since we are talking about this, what would you be willing to give up to acquire Saquon if you was – and you also got to think about this. We are putting it into perspective for everybody. This is a dynasty-type league, and let's just say dynasty, like single QB for our for all our single QBs out there. What would you be willing to give up for, like a Saquon? Uh, I mean Saquon. If he's on a, if he's on a good contract within fantasy, right? You know, if he's, it's a course, I mean, I'll make for the next two, two to three years. He's probably worth at least two first. I'm thinking. I mean, when you think about DeAndre Swift, he had a thousand yards rushing before him. Uh, Miles Sanders had over a thousand yards rushing, so I thought Vaughn would get us over a thousand yards rushing. Um, I, mean, I think at least two firsts, no? At least two well, firsts. I, I think it depends on what the like in like what's your need. Like if you need a QB, and like if we're talking about like a salary cap because we are in a salary cap league and it, it right. is a one QB league. So with us right. being up in this up in a salary cap league, people out there, you might not know what a salary cap league is when it actually has contracts. It's nothing like your ordinary ones that is actually on sleeper. This one's like totally different. You actually go into the mindset of being a GM. It is actually on reality sports online. And that's where you get to be able to actually have an auction whatever just like on sleeper on like any other platform you have your auction but instead of bidding per i say just like starting off at like five hundred dollars you start off with what actually is the nfl salary cap and then it goes up each and every year so then we apply certain contracts to players so now you're the actual physical gm trying to understand and then orchestrate all right do i physically want to keep this player and then if i do how will this affect my other rosters? So that's one thing. If you are trying to do like a little GM mode and you want to see how it's like, go and check out Reality Sports Online. Great platform. We like that. We've been there for six years. I love but, it. I mean, I love it. That's the but but two first? Mm, yeah. Which, you don't think two first? I personally wouldn't give them two first. I probably do. Well, when you say two first, it depends on where the two firsts are. Now, if you're talking about like my 1.12 and like 1.10 up in that range, I'll give that up, and then like maybe like a second. But because I'm so so but so think of it. So think of it like the running back, the running backs coming out this year, right? Not so like no, no good ones, right? And then even in. He, today, you know, he's still a top eight running back. And I think, in my opinion, I'm giving eight right on top of my head. I'll give him eight. And like you said, the, top the, the rookies come, top, well, yeah, I was going to say eight. Um, and the rookies came out this year. Ain't nobody, ain't no, ain't no Bijan, ain't no Gibbs coming out, ain't no Brees Hall coming out. So, you know, if, if it's not like a, to like 20, you know, 28 contract, let's say he's on a, on a two year or three year deal and he's relatively, you know, forty million dollars a year or whatever. Sure, yeah, two first. I mean, yeah. Then, but then you're actually waiting on like if you're physically going to be able to actually make the playoffs. So that's the one thing that you're guaranteeing yourself that you're gonna make the playoffs and you're gonna actually have a championship. So, yeah, with the, yes, of course. With that being said, that, that's all that considered that you are part of the playoff team. That you know, you know, obviously look at your team needs. If your team needs needs more than safety one, you might want to be two first for him. But like, you know, for example, I guess me, if I had two first, I I get I don't even we have to get like I'm 10 and 11, I could probably give up Saquon if it's reasonable for 10 and 11. Because I'm a playoff yeah. team. 
Yeah. So. All right, all right. Not messing, man. I was about to say, man. I'm starting off from the from the tippy top, man. Let's, man. Let's start with the biggest splash that everybody was talking about from from the jump. It is Mister Moneybags himself, Mister Kurt Cousins. Oh my! (laughs) Coming from the (laughs) Minnesota Vikings. But the funny thing about this and everything (laughs) is that. Man, we already knew where he was going once Dag on Raheem Morris ended up stepping foot into yeah. the Dag on Falcons as the new head coach. Because they've they've already put it out there. It was kind of like leaked a little bit. And then they was talking about Kirk Cousins families looking at houses down there. Why the world would you be looking at houses? If you don't plan on moving down there and please do not tell me the reason why he's looking for houses is because he wanted to move from the cold, which hey, that could be a legitimate statement, but we know why he was originally moving there and let's go on and talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk I'm about it. Let's, I, I might go on a whole little diet. T- t- <laughs> t- t- so, <laughs> So personally, I really think if this is probably about to be a window where um, I'm going to go down another rabbit hole that my co-host is probably going to be like, oh, because we we talked about this up in the chat. And one prime, one prime example is actually right here. So if before the market hit for free agency, if you, because remember, I brought up Kyle Pitts trying to go out and then acquire him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you would have been able to acquire him before <coughs> Kirk Cousin got there, you would have got him for cheap. And I think it would have probably changed your uh, team around this year. But also, with that being said, you also had a Drake London. It's pretty much any of the pieces, those three pieces right there. I really it's think the, huh? It's Bijan? It's third. Okay, okay. So you got Bijan, you got so all three phases. I got my tight end, I got my wide receiver, and I have my running back. Mm -hmm. The only thing now is that what type of offense is Raheem Morris's OC going to bring to them? But with that, with us trying to figure out what type of offense he's going to bring to them, people are saying right now that Drake London might have the potential that JJ had when Kirk Cousins uh, was up in Minnesota. That's that's I'm gonna let you finish because you keep I'm about, I'm about to write something down so I don't forget. Keep going. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I can see it. Especially because if you put the if you line everything up and you look at what Kirk Cousins had in Minnesota and he can have a tight. Well, no, was CJ there before? Nope. They actually messed that up last year because Alexander Madison is not the type of QB, I mean, a uh, running back that uh, Bijan is. So, so that's where they kind of mix that up last year. But man, I'll let you go ahead. I think this is great for the whole thing. As everybody already knows now, they got the Falcons. Projected to uh, win the NFC South, but that, I had to go there. That's the but, he, he, yes. he better pay one million dollars. He better, he better win it. Okay, so let me start. By, let me let me take off my fantasy GM hat and let me put on my NFL GM hat. So I'm looking at the contract. Signs a hundred forty or hundred eighty million dollars includes a fifty million dollars sign bonus. Fifty million dollars. Cousins received $100 million guaranteed, including $90, $90 million in 24 and 25, so 50 this year, 40 next year, and then another 10 and 26. So it's loaded in the next two years. It's front yeah. loaded. Um, I, don't hate, I, don't hate, I don't hate the parameters of the front load in those, in those first two years. So that I don't hate. But I'm not, I don't know if Kirk. <laughs> One of your favorite officers today, but the, his 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 um his agent is the mafia. I don't know if he has something on the league or what. How in the is he getting another? Is he getting a hundred million dollars contract? I feel like he's I feel like he's gonna make he's made more than 
than Patrick Mahomes has in his his whole ten year three hundred million dollar contract. Oh my God, I would have gave him that much. Um, I don't think they need to, they needed to jump that high. I don't think Minnesota was going to even come close to that. So they probably bid it against themselves. I mean, so I will say I do like the fact it being front loaded in the next two years. That would be what I would give him, right? A two year window. He's yeah. 35, coming off that Achilles. I'm not sure of that. He heard it in week eight. I don't know if he's going to be ready by week for a training camp. You need to be. You better be. Um, so that's just, that's just a big game for a 35-year-old who who's won it for in the playoffs, who you know what he is. He'll get you to the playoffs, but that's about it. Um, so let me go on and jump in this real quick. Let me, so, yeah, man. I'm like, <laughs> well, Let me go and put on my – so what – what are your thoughts of them physically? So they drafted Kurt now this year, but who says they don't get a rookie QB coming out next year who they have already coveted just to sit behind him for a year and understand and learn from him? The thing with that is that they're going to probably, you said they're going to win the NFC South, they're a playoff team. So what QB is going to fall that far back? So now I have to, I have to trade something to move up to get Shadur or whomever. You see what I'm saying? You're not, they say that they're supposed to, but you know uh, Tampa Bay might have some uh, feelings about that. E- even, still, even still, Kirk going to win them eight, nine games, right? He's going to win them eight, nine games. So so the offense is the dude. He, he was the quarterback coach or the OC for the Rams last year. So it's yeah. going to be a quote-unquote Sean McVay type offense, which <laughs> Kirk is great for saying that he's great for it. I don't know the, the zone run scheme, you know. I think beyond B John can play in any scheme, so yeah. I, I don't like the fact that Tyler Tier is there, we got to figure that out. But, um, so he won't get they will get a good quarterback next year because they'll win eight, nine games, eight plus games next year. Yeah, I just threw it out there because I'm like, hey, 50 million, yeah. 40 million, the best There's nothing wrong is, is with getting. Get, now, it's what if they get? Eight. What if they That's get one it. of their QBs? Not this, this year. year. What if they got one of the QBs that? <clears throat> what if they got like a guy like Joe Milton? Do you think he would fit that that type of uh, scheme in the offense to sit behind Kurt for like two years oh. until? I haven't done enough of, of Joe Milton. I don't know if he's that good. He just all I know is Joe Milton has a big arm, and he's held that. But he can't even when I'm when I'm here, he can't even put touch on the ball. He want he wanna throw the ball five yards um at hundred miles an hour. Can you put some touch on the ball and it need to be that that fast? What are we doing here? So, I know he's a project. He's a project. You got two years. So I guess you yeah, you do. So if you, you want to sit get him, two years. Get, him a, get him in a fourth round this year and let him sit for two years. And I just don't know about that guy um, as far as – I know he's got a big arm. No, nah, I just throw him out there because I'm trying to think. Better. Yeah, I understand. You try to pick a quarterback who's not one of the big big names who can see it. I mean, I would take your boy – what's his face from South Carolina before I went Joe Milton? Oh, what's Spencer, his name? you talking Spencer about Mr. Rattler. Spencer Rattler? Oh, okay. I would take him. I might get him in, in a minute of the fourth, let him sit behind Kirk. That I might be able to. He's a little bit short. He's only six feet and like three and a quarter. But I would take him before I would Joe Milton. Okay, I think okay. he's more of a project than Anthony Richardson. Joe Milton oh. is. Okay. So I, I would take Spencer. I mean, Spencer, Spencer was highly recruited. He was number one quarterback coming out when he was, when he was a freshman. We was in, in uh, high school. Um, you know, they, they had that that series on him. He came off arrogant and cocky. But he was 18. 18. I'm number one quarterback, number one player in the nation. I'm feeling myself, you know, would be honest to say I'm feeling myself. So he put it from what I hear, he's matured. He learned his uh-huh. lesson. He did real good in South Carolina. Uh, I'll take him. Now, if you want to do that, I won't be mad at you. Take him in the fourth round, fifth round. Now, I don't years. know about that fourth or fifth round, man. A lot of people have had did him projected fall? up oh. into this. No, ain't no falling. Really? I seen up in one mock draft. I was w- looking at my. Uh, I was looking at this uh, other podcast, and mm-hmm. as I was watching it, um, the I think a recent up on Draft Network, um, uh, mm-hmm. like a mock draft came out and had him going up in the second round. 
to the Whoa. Pittsburgh Steelers. Really? The second yeah. round to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yep. That's and interesting. Shoot. Yes, interesting. interesting. And since and since we brought up the Steelers, since hey, we Peter, brought him up. Since we brought him up, he was the first one to sign. Right? We made the first yeah. Player. What what are your thoughts about Mr. Russell Wilson signing? They got a good running game. Are 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 we are we a um child friendly show? I I guess I've crossed on here before, right? So go with it, right? I fucking love it. For one point two million dollars, I fucking love it. Russell, don't disappoint me. Mike Tomlin, don't disappoint me. I fucking love it. He's got some weapons. He need, he need to fix that off with the line. He needs to fix that off with the line. But yeah. you got two two good wide receivers. You got a pretty good tight end. You got like you said, you got two running backs. Fix that old line. I, I think you. Russell will be just fine. Yeah, you can. Uh, Russell can Steelers. get in there and set it and forget it. You ain't got to worry about. He don't have to be the guy anymore, like what he was up in up in Denver. Like he's he actually be, can he get back to the manager. system. Yep, and that's technically what he is. Question. So now, now the Spencer Rattler to the Pittsburgh was that before or after Russell signed? That was before, right? Um, might have been before, but I still, I, okay. it doesn't make a difference. Like, cause even with That's Russell it. coming in, just, uh, just, just a backup, like I could still see him coming in backup. Cause we already know they don't believe in Kenny Pickett. Cause you wouldn't sign Russell if you ain't believing, if you didn't believe in Kenny. Right. But my point is, what I was going to say is if Russell does good this year, do they, do they sign him to a three year deal or two year deal? And then that's Spencer Rice right there for three, four years. You don't want that, right? Mm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm saying it because I I like the idea. To your first point of Spencer Rattler going to the Falcons years versus him sitting behind Russ Russ does good, and he sitting behind that four years or three years. I don't know, but yeah. But back to your your cow pitch stop increasing and and trading trying to go get him now. Somebody could have went and got him before today. Mm-hmm. Part for what? Maybe two, say two seconds, maybe. Not even up first. Yeah, right? probably today. two seconds or something like that. So now he's probably worth. He's worth at least the back end of the first. that you saying? Yeah. Because you got to think about like what's in the back end of the first, even in in, in in like a single QB or or like a super flex league, like. Do you who would you covet it more? Like it really depends on like what you want. Do you want like a Brian Thomas Jr. or are you trying to scoop or like maybe like a Brock Bowers? Maybe. Oh, he ain't Brock ain't falling that far. Especially once you once you be leave, Brock ain't falling that far. Once you be Brock's not falling that far. Super flex, Brock can fall to like nine or ten. Brock ain't yeah. Brock's not falling that far. You want QB. Um and so okay, and so Drake London being a JJ, I'm not high on Drake London. I don't think he's gonna be. I don't think he's even as good as JJ. Will he be better? Yes. Will he be JJ? Well, I didn't yes. say he'll be JJ. I said he'll be able to get like what? that notch yeah. below of give, that. Give me, give me. Is, is he a uh, or is he a receiver one? Will he be a receiver receiver one? Next yeah, year. I think so. Yeah, right. I think so. yeah, I think he'll be a top twelve. Top twelve. Obviously. As long as Kirk Cousins is actually healthy, I think he could yeah, be a top twelve. Course. Like, of course. Now, I think it's not going to be a top twelve. I think it's going to be like a top twelve with ease. With ease. Yeah. Really. Yeah, and I really think it's going to be a top twelve with ease because of what he has coming in. As long as Kurt is there and he's doing his thing, because he's about mm-hmm. to make me going and. uh Dive up in these, uh, yeah, you about to make me put up some stats upon Drake. Go, go, go ahead. I, I, I'll take it off. Um, I'll take it off while you're doing it. So, okay, Kirk doing that. And so you think – and do you think Kirk will be healthy, though? He's 35 coming off an Achilles. And by July 1st, do throw the ball. Turning camp stuff. All right, we got to do is throw the play. ball. I'm sure that's his plan. But you still need both your, both your feet now. You got to play. You got to push off. Man, all he got to do is throw the ball. He's 35. I know he ain't charged Barkley towards Achilles when he was like 35, 30, late up up to mid, late 30s. And this is football. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I hope so. I hope they got a injury clause. 
If it's anything you deal with the Achilles <laughs> and up in that lid, we can void your years. I mean, so as a long story short, to bring it out to a close, I'm gonna let you finish. Um, is an NFL GM. I don't like how much money it was. I do like most of the money's in the first few years. As a fantasy GM, I do I love it. And I probably wouldn't pay Kirk no more than two years in fantasy. And I wouldn't pay him a hell of a money. Hopefully you don't have to. There. So, so currently, um, he's gotten a little better, but you also got to remember his QBs that he's that he's had is been one of the probably the sorriest QB I've ever seen in my life, and it also <laughs> didn't. I'm talking about, but it also didn't help that uh, that the coach who who was there oh was God. more like he was Don't more like running. He was up in the running scheme, like Something run the ball, idiot. but. But like I don't think he played to his team's strengths and actually yeah. looking at, at at his teams as a whole. That's why I say what's going to happen this year is because Kurt, even though he yeah he came off a, a, an Achilles, yes, that is true. Mm-hmm. But he was never like most people when they come off Achilles. It's like okay, it's like a a wide receiver. They're going to be we already know right. what's happening. Them some of their speed okay. might be gone. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you don't see Kirk Cousins going out there, yeah, running back like cutting. You don't see Kirk Cousins out there running it and cutting. So I think he's gonna be fine. Come July, with the yeah, by July, okay. I think he'll be fine because, like, prime example, <laughs> last year, uh, Drake London had sixty nine receptions for nine hundred and five yards, and that's okay. with the QB who we had back there last year in Desmond Ritter. And he's nothing more? but twenty-two. Well, and, and he's nothing more than uh, like he's twenty-two years old too. So he's still young. Like, yeah, it's just, it's just a third year. But so I'm just looking at, his, I would just want to compare that to this year. So he increased in yards uh, by forty-five or whatever. Um, three hour receptions and two less touchdowns. I mean, yes, I can see that increasing significantly. I can see that 69 jumping to 90, right? And yeah. his yards jumping to like 12 and touchdown jumping to at least eight. So, yes, I can see career highs with Drake London in 2024. Um, yes. <laughs> you know what? That, that, I know Fred is probably a little hot because Fred would have had that. Ooh, wait. We won't get into that. Okay, we'll get into that. Let's go. Hey. Next, next. Go ahead. Hey, right, man, which one you want to go to next, man? We can next let's go. Let's say, yeah, we can go to next big sign and go on and do your thing. Uh, I guess it's Baker Maker. Did you talk about Baker, Baker Maker last week? No, nope, I was. was okay. yeah, no, nah, we uh, we talked about Baker a little bit, but we like it's actually free. Is it frenzy? So we already know he, he got his deal, he got his money. We said Baker should. They should give him like I think somebody not, uh, nailed it like right on the head, uh, saying that he would get like a three year deal, like thirty million dollars, and just <laughs> and it's fully guaranteed year one. So you already know what that is after that. So if he doesn't do good this year, they can go and kick t- kick him to the curve. But also they was able to get Mike Evans back as well. So that was a major plus right there and then they did put the non-exclusive franchise tag on antonio winfield jr which Mm -hmm. i think that was a great move just not to make sure that he didn't walk but the bucks are still i think they're still mediocre like we're gonna see how what's gonna happen with them this year since they did lose their oc to the carolina panthers which um so we're going to see what they're going to end up doing. Like they do have their QB and we want to see who's going to be that next guy down there. So it'll be very interesting to see what they do during the offseason, what other moves after today, which is on Monday, March the 11th, that they do end up picking up, filling up what holes that they do need to fill. So in all, I think 
Tampa Bay did what they needed to do in by getting Baker, re-solidifying their QB for next year, but also knowing that they got Mike Evans back as well. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Great contract for him. Baker earned it. Three hundred million dollars. It said it includes thirty million dollars guaranteed in year one, and the max value of one fifteen million. Mayfield also released to receive ten million fully guaranteed in year two, plus ten million for injury in twenty twenty five, which becomes fully vested next season. Um, he earned his three year hundred million dollar contract. I agree with it. Now I'm, I'm going to spit out your numbers real quick, and I want you to tell me over or under for next year. Uh, 64.3% 64, completion, 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, over or under next year. Mm, who, Baker? Um, In, like, each category or just? Just um, overall. So, yeah, all three categories, but, like, overall, yeah. Okay, so I think he will be under. Mm. In the completion percentage next year, because I don't know how the offense is going to end up being. So that's another reason why I'm saying the completion percentage are going to be down. But even though the completion percentage are down, I do think he has the potential to have higher than 4,000 yards, though. Mm. Because we don't know what type of offense, but uh, (laughs) these might be bold predictions. So, (laughs) and then the next one, I do think. Let's just say, let's just say he throws over the uh, ten interceptions. So over ten interceptions. What about two over? Twenty-eight touchdowns. Mm. What do he do? Uh, let me see. What was all the rest of his stats? Um, I need to. I, I need to have those. Do you need all? You don't need all. Those. Yeah, I, I need, need all those. You want? You want? What, what, do you, what do you want per game? What you want? Nah, what he did for like uh, up in his whole career. That's what will help me out. Oh, um, so touchdown. That was the most touchdowns Man, he's ever thrown in a season. Nah, he going under, dog. He ain't doing that again. One, I tell you. Nah, one, he, he, he ain't doing that again. You know what I mean? Nah, he ain't I, doing I, that I, again. I was career high in touchdowns. Uh, as far as a full season. That was just yeah, he, yeah, he ain't doing that again. And he he definitely going much. over those. Yeah, he ain't doing that again. So I actually get because you know you know how players they play for that contract and then they come down to reality. So you think Barry's coming back? That's what I. That's oh, what I yeah. That's what I want to hear. Okay. He he. Well, but he deserves his money. The only way he deserves his money. He earned it. I'm not hating on him getting his money. I just think that he gonna regress in the mean. Yeah. I think he's never done well, before down the too. Never done before down the arts. So I think it is time that we, we go to the stomping grounds we get? Who stomping of grounds? of the oh. NFC North, where we yeah. just left. Uh Kirk Cousins has left his former team, but we're gonna stay up in that division. Okay. Ooh, and let me, let me go. Which which one am I going? Because there's a lot of uh, we can go. Let's just let's just go to the Green Bay Packers and let's. What are your thoughts of them signing Josh Jacobs and then kicking your boy Aaron Jones, releasing him for Josh Jacobs, signing what's that? Uh, four years, forty eight million dollars. That includes twelve point five million dollars signing bonus with the total of. Fourteen point eight million dollars up in year one, brought to us by what's, Ian Rappaport and Tom Pro. What's the total? What's the total guarantee? Uh, um, that's what I do not know. I just said sign on boat is twelve. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll okay. see. Oh, uh, no, got it yet. Say it. That's fine. Um, so I mean, Aaron Jones is what 29, 30. Josh is twenty six. I think off the top of my head, yep. Josh Jacobs. Yep. I, I was so as far as as a fantasy guy, right? I was looking for because we knew AJ Dillon was going to be cut. I was trying to figure out what they were going to do and who they were, they were going to get. 
And I had my sights on a rookie. I had my sights on a little buddy that bought out in the preseason last year. Like, who mm-hmm. are they going to get to be the starting running back? Because obviously they need one. Aaron is getting along in the two. I thought, I thought they were going to keep Aaron, but still either elevate the, that rookie from this year or go get another one. Or they go sign. Uh, I, I think it's big for the for the Green Bay Packers, honestly. I think it's big. They need – I mean, he's not as good as a route runner as Aaron Jones, but he's definitely a big step up from A.J. Dillon. You don't necessarily – you don't have to bring him off the field. You keep him on the field all three downs. Let that rookie from last year spell him. I um, mean, I think they got what they want. I'm glad Chauncey got his money. Uh, he, yeah, he signed more than, more than Saquon. He's a year older. Is he a year older than Saquon or a year younger than Saquon? Mm, I think about might be a year okay. younger. Okay, so he's a year Okay, so, so Saquon's older. Okay, I mean, you know, hey, I'm happy for the very back. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for Josh Diggs, and I'm happy for that deal. That is a good deal. Didn't somebody get him? Who didn't? I know um, your um, Drake has been trying to trade him. Oh, he didn't really trade him. He was trying to trade him to um, Caesar. And I leave, and he never bit. He even tried getting to me, and I never mm. bit. Uh, ah. he wanted, he was like, he was trying to get Bijan for me, and I wasn't giving him Bijan. Yeah, he was trying to get him Bijan. Like, bro, I'm not giving you Bijan. Yeah. Come on now, Stop. I don't care. Now I'm loving, I'm loving where my boy Bijan is. I can have them both, but yeah, now, now, what, now what? CJR could do is trace 1.06, maybe. But y'all shaking to see if he'll go for it. The part I'll do. Um, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm getting off track. I'm easy to track. Yeah. So yes, I like the signing for Josh Sigan for the Green Packers for that price. I like it. Love it. Great for fantasy too. Okay, okay. So I'm actually going to I want to go to um stay up in the same division. Let's talk about the other running back. And with Mr. DeAndre Swift being the first running back off the board and being signed, I'm talking about immediately once 12 o'clock yeah. hit. Right. Yeah, like, didn't good, even man. didn't even wait. The dude ended up getting a three-year deal, $24 million. A lot of people kept talking about saying, hey, uh, me personally, based off the contract, this is like the Miles Sanders deal last year. That the Carolina Panthers did with with Miles Sanders. Hopefully, there's a better outcome, but I really just think it's just going to be those three rotating, the, like with Khalil. Her- I mean, Khalil Herbert, right? Yep. Khalil yeah. Herbert, and then Roshan Johnson, and then Roshan. DeAndre Swift. So you got your three headed monster there that you're going to use, and it might, depending on how this new OC coming in wants to actually run the offense. You might see some other things changing as well, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. Is he going? Well, well, he's, he's a free agent. Though. Yeah, he's a free oh. agent. So, but that's the thing about it. Then they also ended up acquiring um, the Bills' uh, running back. I mean, uh, offensive tackle. So, okay. okay. He, so Ryan Bates. So that's why. So you remember whenever the Bills was doing this this free load and getting rid of everybody. That's part of the guys who they ended up getting. So I'm not about to go down this tangent, but this is the reason why I said they need to keep your boy, JF. But let's not even go down that tangent, but because we're going to be on that uh, thing for a while. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to that, though. For the, draft, for the real draft. It's oh, yeah, for the real draft, we're going to punch that thing in, or hopefully they don't do anything, but because I think they got um, a lot of wiggle room. So DeAndre Swift, his deal. Um, I don't know what the guaranteed is. I, I know the guaranteed is. I just looked, I tried to find it, couldn't find it. I don't hate it. I just think that is he going to be? Is he's going to be healthy for a full season? His first full season being healthy was last year behind my Eagles' good offensive line. Now you just said about Ryan Bates. I don't know how good he is. They got him for a fifth round pick. In 2024, so I don't know how good he really is. Um, they definitely need to up their 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 line, and I don't know if they need to at eight to get a tackle if he fall. So that's the thing, though. So like with them, and that's the reason why I said 
Like, what's the point? Okay, yes, you got the 1.01 again. But this is probably like a gold. This is like a rare golden egg that you got the 1.01 in two years up in a row. The mm-hmm. thing about it is you already saw w- what people was doing just to, just to get Bryce. Let them mm-hmm. do the exact same thing again and just recuperate again. <laughs> You're going to get more assets. What if you wanted a Pro Bowl guard now? All right, you, you want to come up here? Go on, give me that Pro Bowl guard now. I already got my tackle. I done fell back also on top of that with, with the picks that you're getting. So instead of giving up three first rounds just to move up all the way up to 1.01, depending on where people want to move to, you are going to get a, a Pro Bowl guard and up on top of that, a first, another first this year, and then a first next year, and then like maybe a second or something like that. You know how they'd be making all those numbers. And then you still got your QB in Justin Fields. And let's just say he ain't the guy. At least you know for a fact next year you can go in and draft yourself a good, decent rookie. You got two wide receivers there because that's who I think they, they probably should pick up with, with, with one of those extra picks too is a wide receiver. But then you also get your tackle. So now you are starting to form a team that can – only thing you're missing is just that QB. You just place one in there. Yeah. And the tiger you're talking about that you got is Ryan Bates or somebody else at the draft. No, I'm talking about another. I'm talking about the guy from uh, Penn State, uh, Ofongu, oh, right. I think. Okay, yeah, okay, because Bates is from Penn State too. Um, okay, so so okay, so you're not, but you're not counting Bates. Is it like you got your tackle? Okay, that's what I was doing. No, so you should get one at the draft. Select, so move back to like because I think. Uh, because I think this past year they ended up getting a guard. It was either on the left or right hand side. But then you also got a tackle as well with, with Ryan Bates. But then you can get your, you can have that camp battle of the, if they end up getting like a rookie tackle. Because this uh, tackle class is pretty deep up in the first round. So pause. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Yeah. That's a lot of assets you can get. You can really. Yeah, man. That's a lot. You can build real good with what you got, and you're already up there at pick eight already. So, like, I don't see the deal of you, which I think they're going to end up moving it. I don't, I don't really believe what people are saying. He's going to end up taking Caleb, and if they do, okay, they take Caleb. And what's the? I mean, who's moving up outside of Denver? You got Minnesota. The Vikings are at eleven. So, would the Vikings give up uh, Barrett Tucker? Just to get one on one, give us your Pro Bowl tackle. I mean, if I'm the Bears, that's what I'm asking for. And then well, like, you also got to remember too. Am I really about to give the one point on one to a division rival? Okay, okay. So, so you said no device. That's what I'm saying. So, who are you trading back with to get a tackle? A good. It doesn't even you, have to you, be. What if, if move, what if New England wanted uh, Caleb Williams just to be up in their offense? I don't know what the offensive line is. But no, I'm just I just threw out the the, the offensive line just to throw it out because it's, it's it's a different player position and you don't have to give up. You can give up a player instead of uh like extra it's, picks, like three firsts. But then if if they are falling back two. The uh, Patriots at three, that's going to be a lesser cap, like draft cap. Okay, maybe they might just get a ball back and they'll, they'll get like an extra first and then maybe like some seconds and thirds because it's not that far. It's only two spots back. And then on top of that, they could just keep falling back. Or or right there, or right there, or right there at three, they're able to pick with their cream of the crop which wide receiver they physically and really want. Do they want to go Marvin Harrison Jr.? Do they want to go Malik Neighbors? Or do they want to get Rome Oduze? And at 1.03 I mean, is where the frenzy starts for those three wide receivers. Tennessee Titans. I mean, they're, uh, they're not going quarterback. There, yes, there is a scenario where the Bears can move back, I agree, and possibly get – they can get their wide receiver – and not, I but see, man, I don't think that.
They can't go back to the bar. So no. looking at the landscape, the Cardinals draft the wide receiver. The Chargers should draft the wide receiver. The Giants are either going wide receiver or they're going O lineman. They do need a quarterback, but I just can't. Uh, the Titans should go offensive lineman. The Falcons probably will go offensive lineman now, now that they have their quarterback. They're not going wide receiver, I don't think. I don't know if one of those top three routes is going to be there or not. And I don't think that the line, one of the top three routes is going to be there. I think all six are going to be gone by now. Three quarterbacks, three offensive linemen, and three whatever you mind. So maybe they, they'll get something. Okay, sorry. Deirdre Smith, um, cool with the deal. They need help on their offensive line. Um, help. And I like it better. For Swift, hopefully they didn't give him too much guaranteed money. I doubt they did with just three million, three, 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 with just three year on a three year deal. Who we got next? Um, we can stay. We can go back to your. We'll say. Well, let's just save that for last. I'm trying to figure out like these other areas of. We could go to the Tennessee Titans. When you want to talk about some uh, Mr. Tony Pollard and your thoughts of him going to the right. Tennessee Titans. Oh, they did. Does they have the money? Who are they? They are. Uh, uh, Tennessee signed him for three years, $24 million. Pretty much the same deal, similar to. Uh, and then that shows, like, let's just put it out there. That shows the, the different tier levels in what people think about these actually running backs. Yes. And for example, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you actually go back and see how much money was provided to. Josh Jacobs and also to Saquon, the numbers are not even close. They're almost double, which which is what the NFL is saying, how they feel about Tony Pollard, saying that he is just a committee type back. He is. DeAndre Swift is a committee type back. And everybody was saying, ooh, when, when, when he was gashing everybody behind Zeke at the Cowboys, man, you can just start Tony Pollard. He was talking about, y'all some idiots. No, he's doing that because people, you know, Zeke doing all the work. So he coming in lightning, catching them off guards and gashing them for eight, nine yards, ten yards. You know what I'm saying, kid? You know I, mean? he, I don't mean he should be the man. He would on football. Um, agree to your point, right, you know, he got four years, $48 million. Juan got three years, thirty-seven million, around about twelve million dollars of each, um, and he's getting eight, and and Swift got eight. As far as the contract, that's a good deal for him. I don't love him with the Tennessee Titans because I am a Tajay Spears fan, and they're going to probably be in a split backfield. Um, that's good I would though. Guaranteed. Yeah, that's good. But that's I want. That's good though. I, I knew he wasn't going to be the bell cow, but I wanted him to at least be the first and second down back. But both of them, they're both the same type back, right? They both can catch. Um, they both hella fast type back. I just don't know. They're going to the same type back. So they're going to probably interchange them like David Montgomery and even Gibbs did. I'm going to say 50 50 split share. I'm hoping that Tajay came out. Duel him in the training camp to at least be the starter. Don't like that because I was kind of projecting Tajay Spears to be an RB1 this year. But now they sign Pollard. I don't know about that. So, what are your thoughts about like we switched into like another team in the division of the AFC South? We thought about uh, Mac Jones going to the uh, Jaguars. I don't give a flying fuck. You know, I don't like Mac Jones, so sorry, I'm going to be cussing. Fuck Mac Jones. Earmuffs. Fuck Mac Jones. He's a dirty player, and I don't like dirty players anywhere in any league. So fuck him, his bitch ass. Now, you're going to talk about Gabe Davis? Talk about Gabe Davis. That's what I was about to ask. (laughs) What do you think about the overpay? (laughs) They overpaid for him. I okay. mean, do you think he can fill the role of like the uh, Calvin Ridley that he was last year? Or yeah, Calvin Ridley really didn't do shit last year. What did Calvin Ridley do last year? Let me see. Uh, he didn't do much. He, exactly. So yeah, he can fill that role. But that's which is I mean, seven, 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 seven receptions, a thousand, sixteen yards, eight touchdowns. 
he damn sure better get that. In that case, you might as well sign Calvin Ridley. You know what I'm saying? I just think that Gabe, that you got Gabe Davis, and he didn't do anything with the Buffalo Bills. So why would he do anything with the Jacksonville Jaguars? You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you got a hell of an upgrading quarterback. So if you couldn't get it done there, why am I overpaying for him? How big is he? Because I, I was hearing that that they wanted they wanted a a big stud outside receiver. He's 6'2", 225. He got the, so I mean he has the the stature. I don't know why he didn't get the ball as much, or I don't know why, but for whatever reason, he did not jail with the Buffalo Bills. Um, I thought they were going to draft the wide receiver, honestly, and they still may. But then I also heard they wanted they wanted Kevin Ridley back. I am shocked that Kevin Ridley is still on the board. I am also shocked there's still some days left that T. Higgins has not been traded. Um, but what I heard Schultz say today that they're gonna probably she's gonna probably they probably made a trade off, and he's gonna play under the tag this year, and then they're gonna revisit everything next year as far as T. Higgins. But I don't love the game, Davis. You need you need to show me something for you to be getting. 39. You Alan Lazard, the way I see it. Got paid, but you ain't that guy. I don't know how he got paid, to be honest. 39 million dollar deal has a max value of 50 million dollars. Three years. I do not know how he got there. He he it, it, was he the, they they paid him as he was a top free agent. I mean, Pittman got no, no, he got three or seventy million. So Pittman got more than that. Uh, $46 million guaranteed. Uh, I'm sorry. I just switched teams. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, Michael Pittman. For any, any hey, nope. Let's, for let's go edition. and get going because I was about you know, to hit him up right there. Yeah, let's go and go to it, man. I like that deal for him. Um, not, the, not the 70 million, but the three years for $46 million, $15.3 million a year. I like that. You know, who is what they're going to do? He's there. He's your third down guy, good possession guy. Um, yep. you know, you were too far down. I, I think you can probably draft Brock Bowers if he's still there at the tight end position. I think at 18, 19, wherever you pick. I do like yeah. that keeping him keeping him home in Indiana. Your thoughts. Yeah, I do like uh Michael Pittman. I'm glad you just going and just took the Rams and uh Sorry yeah. I do no, no, I was about that's what I was about to ask. I really do think it is beneficial to the up and coming second year QB that they do have. Hopefully um, this year he can actually stay healthy the entire year to actually get them to that next level. But yeah, I'm excited about the Michael Pittman. Uh, when it comes to fantasy, um, I still think he'll be like a wide receiver two for you. You don't, you don't like him though in fantasy. No, I you do not. You do not like I him. I do but not you, like him. <laughs> but you see him as a wide receiver two though, but you don't like him. No, I see. I see him as like that scary Terry and like DJ Moore type of. Uh, but I like scary Terry and and DJ Moore. So you do, and DJ had a little bit of shit. Yes, he, he did. did, and we caught that. We did call it. You know, just and not not too long. Real... Beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> what what they say sometimes you don't toot your own horn. There's no music. So hey, no toot toot. Um, that tiger toot toot. What were your thoughts for Gabe Davis for the Jaguars? I know I, I kind of I don't think you even responded to that. Uh, like, I really you know, I, I really don't care about Gabe Davis. Like um, he Gabe was always Gabe. like a number two, like number three wide receiver to me. Um, I just think he's just gonna still really be that exact same type of guy. And the only reason why it's sort of similar to, um, I know I'm kind of jumping back like for the Carolina Panthers. Like you with, with a team that's not that type of destination you got to overplay players you just to get them just to come so like i don't know if you just saw which is like really shocking and is actually what the coach has been stated which your boy might end up being the starter next year who I, like i said before so mm -hmm. the panthers ended up signing uh chuba so the panthers ended up signing robert hunt with who they got from who's robert hunt from, they got Robert Hunt, the actual offensive guard. Um, mm -hmm. He was rated at like the top uh, offensive guard available up in this year's uh, free agency. 
mm-hmm. coming coming from Miami. They ended up signing him to a five year deal, a hundred million dollar deal that includes twenty six point five sign on bonus, but we don't have the guarantee. And then they just came back and signed. Um, they just did a four year deal, fifty three million dollar deal with uh, twenty six point two million fully guaranteed to Damian Lewis, who is coming from the Seattle. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to shore up that left guard and right guard position for Bryce Young. So physically we know they're trying to build that model that, uh, that uh, Drew Brees had whenever he had strong offensive guards and centers just so he won't get pushed up. So, that's one reason why I brought that up is something similar to that situation where people don't see the different areas that, that other teams are drafting and then like buying fragrances in. And I probably just went on to a tangent, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I do it all the time. Yeah. So, who am I going to I'm not going to say that. Okay, so you know how I'm Gabe Davis. Man, yeah. I would have, hell, I would have went and got T. Higgins if I could for that much, but you probably have to get, you had to get some draft picks. But. Nah. T- yeah, and that's the reason why. So that's the thing that's really, and since you're talking about that, we actually right. gonna, like we know we gonna save that to the end of, about the about the draft. We we we're just gonna end up with that team up in. We started with with your uh, division. We are gonna end with your division. Fair. But but yeah, um, it's just how the cookie's been crumbling. Like um, let's just oh. go into the let's go to AFC West, man. Let's, I don't. Well. well before we leave the South, let's just let's just be done with the South. Tennessee, uh, we talked about. Jack, we talked about. You know, Donald Schultz, we we'll talk about that. To the, to the Texans. No. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. want to talk about. Yeah, no, he got so his money. No, like, mean, what did he do last year? He was that good blanket for CJ Stroud. Yes, that's good that, you, that you're bringing him back, but we already know how it's going to be out there. It's year number two. People already have game film out on you. They know who you like to throw to. Will you be able to step up, CJ, like you did this past year when people thought you was that weak link at being selected to overall? Now everybody has a year game film. I think it's going to be good regardless Um, with the game film. I just – the the same way you feel about uh, Mac Jones, I don't feel the same way about Dalton Schultz, but – I just don't like Dalton. So he's not a good player. He's not a good player. Hey, you know, as someone who owned, who had the share of Dalton Schultz stock, I was happy that he got re-signed with him. So makes my yeah, because pretty good. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take yeah, because he life. wasn't gonna get nothing from it. Nobody else, <laughs> nothing that good. No, he was not. So he had to sign with them. Okay, go to the next thing you talking about. You said NFC. Man. Yeah, I was going to go to AFC uh, West. Uh, what are your thoughts about um, – so this is still doesn't kill anything. We know we got a new um, head coach with the Los Angeles Chargers in um, Jim Harbaugh, and he ended up signing the old running back, Gus Edwards, uh, to a two-year deal, 65 or $6.5 million, which is that is Jack diddly nothing. So he getting stuff for cheap, sort of similar to how he ran his offense whenever he was with the 49ers. And they ended up also picking up the uh, tight end as well as Will Disley, which I think that's actually a good addition for them to have that blocking and catching type back uh, tight end out there. Are you done? Because I have a lot yep. to say about. Oh, I already know you do. That's why. That's why I just said my stuff, and I'm about to sit it and forget it. I don't know who the Jimmy is. Who, who, who the GM is? I forget who they got. Um, but Jim Harbaugh and the GM are talking. What the fuck are you doing? What are you waiting on? Cut Mike Williams. <laughs> you can't trade him. So I mean, obviously, you should try to trade him before today. Cut his ass. He's trash. He can't stay healthy. He has never been a wide receiver one since he's been there. He's never even led the team in receptions, I don't think, and or touchdowns since he's been with the Chargers. Cut him. Save you a lot of million dollars. Who cares? Because you probably can't find a trade candidate. If you can, seven, six round pick, who cares? Um, also, Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. I don't know if you got to be, if you got to let trade both of them, trade both of them. Cut them. You you can't afford them. Let them go. You should have been in the market getting a running back, 
getting some tackles, getting Justin Herbert some help. What are you doing? I they wait until the draft. But you need some free agents, and you're over the cap. What are you doing? Cut them. You can't tell me you plan on keeping Mike Williams. They shouldn't have paid his ass two years ago when he did. You can't tell me. Like, you should have a plan to buy now. Like, I would have already cut him. I would have already got a, a fourth-round pick for Khalil Mack or Bosa, whichever one you want to keep. If you want to let both of them go, let both of them go. Um, they're at 105. Unless they're planning on trading back, I don't know what they're planning on doing, but they could use a good wide receiver. They could use Malik Neighbors. They could use – I'm sure they could use another offensive lineman. So I don't know what they're doing. They should have been cut, dude. They should have been cut, dude, and been traded enough. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. They're over the cap. Like, they're going to have to do it anyway. So why don't you have you done it before? If you can possibly get somebody else. Then you sign Gus Edwards. He's not going to be your, your RB1. You're going to draft a running back in the draft. You're going to probably try to get your boy, uh, what's his name, that he played with in Michigan. In the third round, what's his name? What's what's my man name? Blake Corm. Yes, you're gonna probably get Blake Corm in the third round. I don't blame you. I would do the same thing. You would do it. You would have a 50 50 split with him and Gus Edwards. You'd probably start him. I don't know. But what are you? You just not. You're not doing it. You haven't cut all this cap that you had. You got to clean the deck. So I am predicting that the Chargers will be trash this year. <laughs> They're going to be trash. Um, Unless I see something drastic change in the next few months, because you're not doing anything. You have to get rid of some of them players because you're overpaid. And why you're not doing it before free agency is here, I do not know. There, there's my piece. There's my done. Send my piece. He's done. Let's go on a move before he jumps back over there up on that tangent Please. again. And Please. then, to be honest with you, we ain't going to talk about nobody else up <laughs> in the AFC West because nobody up in the AFC West did anything. So let's go on okay. and go to the Chris, daggone. Chris Jones got paid. Shout out Chris Jones. Keep going. Go ahead. Man, we, we ain't talking about Chris Jones yet. We know he got paid, but see, that ain't going to help, man. We ain't see no nothing, no fireworks or anything go out there. <laughs> man, offense. let's. Let's jump into since you was bringing up people from like T Higgins and things like that. We talked about Russell Wilson, which the the AFC North ain't really been that active lately. Let's see what they're going to end up doing. So, prime example, Jerry <laughs> Judy that. ended up getting traded. What are your thoughts of Jerry Judy being a new wide receiver for Deshaun Watson? I mean, that should only help the Cleveland Browns. Shout out to the Cleveland Browns because. Because they're doing what they're supposed to do to keep their team relevant and to keep them in the headline. So shout out to them. We're going to get Jerry Judy. Um, if you have Marvin Mims, I thought about trying to go get Marvin Mims the other day. I'm not going to lie. I thought about going to get him, but he was going to get traded. We all knew that. Um, now, if they get another wide receiver in, in, in this draft, I don't know. But I like uh, – I'm sorry. I'm going to get Broncos. Um, but I like the addition for Jerry Judy. Can't hurt, you know. It should only help Deshaun Watson, right? Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, man. It's the Browns. It's the AFC South. Then let's go on and get to the big news of the NF. I mean, in the AFC North. What is your thoughts about them cutting? Dag on Joe Mixon, dog. The Bengals <laughs> cutting Joe Mixon, letting his, letting him go, dog. Just. You know what's funny? We thought they was gonna cut him last year. They didn't. Yep. And when it, and when it came came out early early this year, they was like, you know, they was my cut Joe Mixon. He tweeted like, ah, I did the same thing last year. Well, this year they did it. Uh, they cut him. They're going to draft the running back. Zach Moss is not the guy. We know that four point five million dollars game in year one, eight million dollars contract. Anyway, about that Chase Brown, I think he's too small, right, to be that guy. Uh, I don't think so, dog. You, you, I don't think he. Know? I don't think so. I really think when we're thinking about like guys being that guy, like you don't have a running back coming out that's going to be that guy. Yeah. At least they're saying that right now. It depends on the running backs that you end up getting, seeing their style. But personally, I think they're going to get another complimentary back to help out Chase Brown, and that's how Not I see it. 
Not exactly. You mean, you mean out, out the draft? Yeah, out the draft, like out the draft, yes. like not nobody up in free agency or anything like that. Just another complimentary back, so they can get younger. Agreed. Agreed. Sort of similar to with them. Yes, they tagged T. Higgins. Like we already know that. <laughs> we already knew that was going to happen. We did. But you really got to have sort of similar to like what they're saying about um, people that are getting the non-exclusive tag. You got to have a buyer just to be able to make a trade. But then when you're doing that trade, you physically have to have a contract in place as well whenever you're making that trade. So a lot of people talking about like give up a second, give up a first. There's a lot of other pieces that actually have to be calculated before we end up giving certain contracts because he has to agree on the contract before the actual mm-hmm. deal can actually happen. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. okay, yeah. uh, they also resigned Drew Sample, tight end, three years, two yep. million. I thought that I thought they might go get. I thought they might get Brock Bowers if he fell to them in the draft. So I don't know if them sign Drew, Drew Sample mean they're not going after Brock Bowers. I would love Brock Bowers there. Oh, my God. Um, and as far as Joe Mixon, if I'm Joe Mixon, I am calling – what's my boy name? Not Andy Reid. What's, what's, what's the GM for the Kansas City Chiefs? I'm calling him. Hey. Uh, I don't know, dog. I, I forgot. I can't think of the name. But I'll go there. Hey, man, I, 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 I can pay me $3 million. I'll go there and back at Pacheco because they only have Pacheco. So I'll go up there and back at Pacheco. I'll be LaShawn McCoy was two, three years ago when he won it with LaShawn as being that third down back or whatever. Yeah, yeah. come get me. Let me, let me go there with Pat and, and that crew if I'm um, Joe Mixon. Um, I, so could you, see, could you see Joe going to the Chargers, though? I mean, if he wanted just – they got no money. If he uh, – if I'm going to bring out the money, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to KC. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to get yeah, my hand sure. in. But somebody going to get the money and who also going to lose? I'm not going to go to yeah. KC. See, that yeah. Charlie got the money. So, <laughs> no. Mm-mm. You know, and, there, and then the then I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next team because I'm sure we don't have the biggest. I think you said, yeah, yeah. So, the T. Higgins, like you said, they're going to, essentially, you're saying they're going to probably play, you're going to probably play under the tech this year. And we'll get a trade off. The Baltimore Ravens have done nothing. They just signed a defensive lineman. And then they signed Nelson Aguilar, but a figure Nelson Aguilar, Alligator Hall, yeah. but I got a one year extension. They haven't done anything. I don't think they have any money though, but yeah, and, uh, and Odell is going. So it seems like they're probably draft another wide receiver. I guess they still got Bateman and Zay Flowers. You know, I don't know. Next division. We cleared that one pretty quick. Man. Jets, we can Jets. go and talk about the AFC East. I don't even think I mean, we need to talk about the AFC. GBC, N- anybody in that? Taylor Nobody Gibson really did. Yeah, we got we got Gibson going to the Patriots, which I think is pretty decent. But yeah, we got Jacoby Percet going in there as as like a we already know what he's gonna be. Well, he's going there just to be a backup. Like he'll be a backup to whatever rookie they end up getting. Eight million dollars back. He's got to make what fifty million dollars, maybe. You know, just being backup and stuff like that. He's made some money. Low key hey, made man. some money being a backup. So shout out to him. Uh, they did. They did also sign Kendrick Bourne. Is he good? Nineteen million dollars. Max million. Yeah, no. 33? No. Okay. Hunter no, Henry. Is nah, that taking your fancy three year twenty seven million dollars? No, Nothing? that's the reason why I didn't. Okay. Man, let's go. On, let's go end it with one of the divisions that that we started off with, and let's go on and get back to the NFC. What are y'all the East? East NFC East, and we go. We go end it right here. So it's very interesting. We talked about the. The Cowboys ain't done nothing whatsoever. I was, I was, I was trying to hold my mouth. I'm like, because the Cowboys, they, they're going to be blank. Wow. They ain't you know done what? nothing. But you know what? Uh, hold on. Manny, I asked Manny, I, I, I said, man, I know, I know, you, I know you, you You know how I is. Are you going to jump in the chat once, uh, once the Cowboys make a big move? He go, 
LOL. Uh, the Cowboys ain't doing shit. We know Jerry C now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's go on and get to what are your yeah, thoughts? On, what are your thoughts on Austin Eckler going to the Commanders? I think he is going two year, $11.4 million. I think he is going to play the Antonio Gibson role on that move. Okay. I think, he's still, I think Brian, Brian, Robertson is probably going to lead that backfield. Um, he's younger. He's a bruiser, right? I think so. And so, also, Eckler's going to be a third down back who can also play. He can also, he can play the, you know, one, two, one, two. I, it's, if you can get him in fantasy, Relatively cheap. I would sign him to a one-year deal, maybe ten million dollars in fantasy. Um, but I'm not expecting him. To, I'm not expecting him to be RB two this year. Not even RB two. Yeah. Nope. So and they also good. got Zach Ertz as well up on a one-year deal for five yeah, million dollars. Yeah. And 30, then, so. and then, um, last but not least, uh, we're gonna talk about those New York Giants end up signing, uh. Devin Singletary, but that's not splashing the needle. No, but, so they d- but they did. They did make that big splash by getting that trade defense. from from the Carolina Panthers and getting Brian Burns, which is $150 million. That's crazy. And we already knew what? what was about to happen. They should have traded that dude. Last year or the year before. Oh, yeah, but you they said did that. not. They did not. No. Question. So yep. they they the Giants, they did sign a tackle and they signed a guard. Yep. So you know what and that they tells me? No and they have no running back. So that tells me draft one. Well, yes, but I mean I mean with their first their first round pick it they're picking at pick seven or six. Yeah, if we get pick six, that tells me and what I think they're gonna do. They go. That's where. That's where Roman Duce going. You think Roman Duce going there? The Cardinals gonna get Marvin Harrison Jr. I yep. think the Chargers are gonna go. They fucking shit. Malik Neighbors. I heard the Roman Duce might go to Dag on to to the Chargers. You did that. You did it. You did it over over Neighbors. I'm not saying over neighbors. I'm just saying I think it's. I mean, but that's just that's just what uh, they've been saying. So let me say this. So I'll say that the Giants are going to be comfortable with Rome, Marvin, or neighbors, and they're going wide receiver at six. They're not going O liner because I was thinking like, ooh, that's, man, that's, that's they right right there at six. One of those three top O is going to be there. They just got two of them, and the ones that got hurt last year should be back. They are going wide receiver there. I don't think they're going quarterback. I think the stupid ass is paying Dan Jones. Look at Johnny. I paid Dan Jones and then you left. So you won't go to your go to your right. Stupid. But anyway, <coughs> they're going wide receiver. Unless they go quarterback. But I think they go wide receiver. And yeah. as far as the running back, that position is going to be up for grabs for the rookie. Devin Singletary, who else is up on that thing? It's going to be up for a rookie. Be, be, like you said, be aware of who they signed because he will have a easier path to be the starter for the New York Giants as the running back. They, yep. They're going to probably draft on the third round, I think. I think they're going to reach on somebody. I don't know who. But, yeah. Mark, remember this. I need to start, I need to start writing down my, my predictions. <laughs> the New York Giants will draft. If they don't go quarter, which I don't think they will, they're going one of those three top wide receivers, and he will be a number one. So that out. So what that means? Chicago Bears. Well, not falling there. He's not gonna fall there. And the Tennessee Titans won't. Either. They either. Did the Did the Titans draft a? Uh, did they pay for uh, any tackles or anything? Any guards? Mm. So far, Tennessee oh, Titans. Time. They got a center. That was it. Cornerback. What is that? Long snapper? What is that? LS? I don't know what that is. LS long snapper. They got a center. That was it. The Titans are going offensive linemen. 
man, the Giants, Roman Duze. What my Roma word? Duse. What what what, what what uh what Justin what Justin Bieber say? Mark my words, his song, my words, y'all. Uh, Justin Bieber. They hey, man. They go wide receiver. Ooh, they go wide receiver. I like and I like it. I like it because I like Bay Ball. I don't like Daniel Jones, but he got to the ball to somebody. And, and and they don't know what the what the hell Darren Waller doing. He don't know if he wanna be tired. He wanna be he wanna be a rapper. They don't they overpaid Galladay and Hyatt. One of them three way better than height. Ooh. 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 I like that, but I like that. I'm, I'm a day ball fan, so I like that. All right. Well, if y'all made it this far in the Sorry, episode 37 of the podcast, we definitely want to thank everybody. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are moving nothing but up. We are going to be doing episode 38 next week, and we might just throw a little splash out up in there, man. Just, man, we might just do like a mock draft, man. We're just going to do a mock draft. See, man, see what's going on. We also, we do have our round table coming up one of these episodes in this month, so y'all be ready for that. With our two other uh, normal guests that we bring on here. We just got to figure yep. out a good, a good schedule for them. Yep, yep, we definitely will. Um, might have to be towards the end of the month, man. That's probably okay. the best one. That's fine. Probably do it then. But hey, man, just thank you for coming. Uh, any last words, uh, Mr. K Camp? Hey, y'all, thank you for having me back, everyone. Hey, we thank y'all for tuning in. We know you could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with us, and we appreciate that. Spread love, not hate. Peace. Spread love, not hate. How you doing, good peoples out there? Nah, just playing. This this ain't the start. Man, let's go and talk. Like, wh- who who you want to start off with? Like, who's the uh, biggest one? Can we, can, we about, t- can we talk about my Eagles? Can we can we just jump dive right into that? Man, it's glad to have you back, man. Glad to have you Monday. back. <laughs> man, you talking about it. people getting that guap? Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to count down, then we're going to play this bad boy. Uh, and then we signed linebacker Julian Okawara. I don't Oak out of two. They play for that contract, and then they come down to reality. Shoot, who you tell them, man? This is the best thing, Matt. Free agency frenzy. Make sure I ain't, I ain't missed. You ready? Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking to, to them, them fools in the group. Uh, nah. What What are your thoughts about Mr. Russell Wilson signing? They got a good running game. Are Are, are we Are we a um, child friendly show? I mean, I guess I've pressed on here before, right? No, go with it, right? I fucking love it for 1.2 million dollars. I fucking love it. We thought about uh, Mac Jones going to the uh, Jaguars. I don't give a flying fuck. You know, I don't like Mac Jones, so sorry, I'm going to be cussing. <laughs> Donald Schultz, you want to talk about that? To the, to the no. No. Not, <laughs> three years, three years, three years, I, mean, I don't know. want to talk about Yeah, you know, he got Schultz, his money. Gashing everybody behind Zeke at the Cowboys. Man, you can just throw 20 bucks. You can just throw Fuck Mac Jones. Earmuffs. Fuck Mac Jones. He's a dirty player. Damn. And I don't like dirty players. Anywhere in any league, so fuck him, his bitch ass. Damn! Thanks for checking out another episode of Serverless Green Iron Podcast, powered by Serverless Fantasy Sports. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode.